Hello, Geminis. Welcome to your mid-month April 2020 reading. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can make that happen. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. I'll tell you everything else during the reading. Okay, so Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides of the Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Geminis for the middle of April 2020? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe, and closer to Divine through your messages? Any messages that you have for their greater good for Geminis, the middle of April 2020, would be greatly appreciated, and we thank you, Geminis. Middle of April 2020, what do you see? What do they need to know? Please show me general energies for Gemini, the middle of April. Okay, and this month's extra extra will be the link below. Um, it is for what is your what new journey awaits you. Okay, so that's your extra extra. In there it'll tell you how you will embark on your journey, what you will encounter, and what your final destination will be. So make sure you click on that after this reading okay general energies we have the six of pentacles in reverse challenge we have the knight of pentacles in the upright check out my 2020 sun moon predictions and my playlist my 2019s are still in there advice for gemini's please two cards king of pentacles in the upright knight of wands in reverse Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Always appreciated. Okay. Ten of Wands in the upright. All right. So what we have going on here, general energies. You're in some sort of situation and either you're being taken advantage of or you're giving too much and people are taking too much. Whatever it is, the scales are kind of off in that regard. It can be literally in terms of money. You're giving someone a loan and they don't have any intentions of giving it back. Or, um, you know, or, or they're going to, or you give somebody money and, or somebody gives you money and then there's X, Y, and Z kind of conditions that go along with it. Um, you know, you can have it, but then you owe me like 50% interest or things like that. Whatever it is, it's just, it's just somebody being um, on the unfair end of the stick, okay? And sometimes this can end up in um, debt, like a financial stress because of it. Um, it could end up somebody feel like they're giving more than they should in a relationship and they start to feel resentment. Um, so it could, since this is a general reading, this could be in any, um, any scope of things. It could be someone just being outright selfish. Um, so as a result of this, I see the challenge, the Knight of Pentacles here, and I feel like you're really having a hard time setting up boundaries. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is the type of person that he, he won't get into anything or he won't, he, he won't meet somebody halfway if it seems like there's a lot of risk involved with it or what have you. And I feel like you're having a hard time uh, asserting boundaries with this person. Um, they just continue to take from you and they're putting you in a risky situation. If it's not a person, it's an actual entity that this is kind of happening. So either you're having a problem saying no way or, or what have you. Um, I do think that the, this person is approaching you because, uh, you know, either your cup is very full in terms of being spiritual, mentally, um, financially, uh, reliable. You seem to have a lot of something and the other person feels it's okay to take from that because you're plentiful, you're abundant. Um, you know, you have the money to spare or what have you. So they don't even really think twice about kind of, you know, taking from you because they feel like you can afford to not have it. Um, whether that's your time, your money, or however it kind of is. Um, advice. Here I have the King of Pentacles in the upright and, and I'm feeling that, and again, look, here's this King of Pentacles and look how he's stroking this bull and feeling sorry for this bull, okay? Um, and I feel like what they're saying here is even though, and look how he's handing the pentacle to this bull, like here, you have this, I don't need it, I have plenty of them. So, you know, advice are saying even though you have things to give, I mean, when's it going to stop? And is this person deserving of it? And why are you giving it to them? Um, is it going to make the person a better person? You know, um, I mean, I was raised Catholic, and I'm sure those of you that are associated with the Bible, what, um, the you know, Jesus kind of teaching the man to fish. I forget what the actual saying is, but obviously if you teach a man to fish, he's going to be able to, um, you know, feed himself forever. If you just give him bread or give him fish, he can only feed himself for one day. And I feel like that's what we have, 
going on here. So if you give somebody, I mean, something just because you can, does it really solve the problem for them? Is it really going to help them get to a better place? And they're also having you consider with this Knight of Wands what kind of person they are. How they just, the reason why they're in this situation that they are and that they're coming to you is because they were impulsive. They they don't have the insight or the foresight. They just kind of do things without thinking about them. Um, um, they like attention. Um, they're excessive when it comes to things. They're chaotic. They don't have a plan. They don't have a strategy. So, I mean, the advice they're kind of saying is why why does their um, emergency or why does their lack of planning constitute an emergency for you? And I think they kind of want you to consider that you're not you're not the fallback person. You can't save everybody, and you certainly can't help this person get to a better place by just giving them what they need um, when they need it at the time or when they ask for it. Now, moving out. Um, you know, of the middle of April, I see you very burdened by this. I mean, this guy is, he's stressed out. Um, and he's taking a rest. I mean, you're tired of carrying the burden of this person around. You're exhausted. You can't do it anymore. I mean, you're really getting to the end of your rope here. And um, I think you're continuing to do it, to carry around this burden, to continue to help this person, um, to, to do this without getting any kind of, you know, uh, kickbacks for it or even a thank you or what have you. But I do feel like at this point you're realizing, um, even though, you know, while you're resting and you kind of put these sticks down, uh, this guy's kind of, kind of contemplating something needs to be done about this. It can't continue on like this. I, I've gotten to the end of my rope. My back is breaking um, is what I'm getting. So why is the Six of Pentacles here on the upright for Geminis? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for the Six of Pentacles in reverse for Geminis. Who is this person? What is this energy? Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Gemini's? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The Four of Pentacles are reversed. Lover's card. Oh, so you have an uh, attachment to this person. This is somebody you previously had a connection with. And uh, you guys broke up. Um, broke up or you broke the connection. Okay, so it does not have to be a love interest. We do have your card, the card of Gemini, but that's a connection that didn't work out. You guys had to go your separate ways for whatever reason. You kind of looked at each other and said, hey, this isn't going to work out. This friendship, this business partnership, whatever it is, um, you guys just, you know, there was an impasse. You couldn't agree, agree on anything. You decided this isn't a good idea. We need to go our separate ways. So you did have a troubled relationship or connection with this person. Um, with the four of pentacles here, I, I feel like you're holding on to your things um, for dear life um, out of fear of poverty. Because if this person continues to take from you, whether it's in a practical financial way or otherwise, again, even if it's time, spirituality, energy, I mean, you just don't have much more to give this person. So you're trying to hold on to, you're kind of holding on to your reserve tank for dear life because you're fearful if they take it all, you will have nothing. Um, we have the King of Wands here to me, which indicates they're coming to you because you always land on your feet. You're almighty. You're powerful. You're in a position of power. They also know that you're not going to say no. I mean, the King of Wands, um, I mean, yeah, he could say no, but I'm not getting that. I'm getting that. You know, he wants people to be, he wants to get people to a better place. He wants to inspire people to become better people. And he's a born leader. And I feel like they know that you're kind of like this and you know, you're like this. This is a part of you. You don't want to be that person that kind of kicks somebody out that's downtrodden or needs your help. You want to lift them up to a better place. But the problem is that they know this about you. And I feel like they're taking full advantage of that. Why is the Knight of, Pen Knight of Pentacles here in the upright in the challenge of the for Gemini? Who is this person? What is this energy? Special messages for the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, the Magician card and the Upright. Okay, so part of the challenge is you wish that this person could kind of take care of themselves. It's a challenge for them. For some reason, they have an inability to kind of be responsible for themselves. Um, you want them to, and I do feel like you've also said to them, hey, have you looked into this online? Have you done this? Have you gone to a credit counselor? Have you, I think you've pointed them to resources and they just don't bother doing it, which kind of adds to the frustration here. It's like, here, I'm trying to help you kind of stand on your own two feet and you don't even bother looking in these resources or kind of do anything about it. And you're starting to realize, you know, th this is kind of bothering you. That's part of the challenge. It's, it's 
it's affecting your day-to-day -day life. It's this, you know, dark cloud that's starting to creep into your life that worries you on the day-to-day -day or saddens you on the day-to-day -day and you just can't be as positive as you would like to be because of this person. Um, you're trying to help them so they can stand on their own two feet, but they're not doing what they're supposed to do. They're not empowering themselves. Um, you know, none of that stuff. Um, and I do feel like, so, well, and it's the same thing. I mean, with this page of cups, I feel like you're kind of, you want them to, you know, seek something new, do something that they're passionate about, um, do something that's going to better themselves. You're hoping some news is going to come in for them and kind of take them out of their plight that they're currently in, but I don't see that happening. The challenge is that doesn't happen. They're not creating a new opportunity. They don't seem like they want to do anything. They're fine with just kind of like coattailing off of you. Why is this King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands in reverse here in advice for Geminis? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages. King of Pentacles and upright, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Why is the King of Pentacles here advice for Geminis? Empress card. Oh, you guys are beyond abundant. This, this is why this person is so attached to you because they just say, oh, they can afford it. I mean, and not only that, you all are very nurturing. They know that you're um, nurturing and you're um, very motherly and and that you will take care of them okay because that's just in your nature that's what you do with the Empress card and the King of Pentacles so financially you're off and then also you're very stable when it comes to you know taking care of people making sure they're comfortable in their homes um, you know all of that so so they know that um, but they're kind of saying okay that's what you're all about so so why are you why do you continue to invest in this person who's just like a um a dumpster fire you know um <laughs> i don't mean to use that term but i'm just like yeah and they're telling you realize how they are that like i said their their entire life is a dumpster fire why are you getting sucked into this time and time again you have given them the resources the skills the tools to better themselves the opportunity the news to and they have just turned it down and just continued to find the easy way by coming to you so eventually you're going to leave this person behind you're going you're going to realize that or they're telling you rather the advice is walk away from this this person is not serving you they're not adding to your life they're taking away from your life there's, you know, I mean, it, it's exhausting. This person is going to grind you down to a nub if you continue to invest your energies in them. This is not an investment that's going to be worthwhile. So I feel like here at the Ten of Wands, you're just trying to figure out how to cut them loose. You know, how am I going to tell them? What's it going to be like? I know I can't keep doing this, but how do I make it stop? Um, I mean, here they're telling you, you just have to realize who they are and where this is going and... and turn your back on them essentially because the eight of cups could be um somebody feeling like they're abandoned well they might feel like that but sometimes you have to do that to get someone to pick themselves up by their bootstraps especially if you've given them continual chances why is the ten of wands here who's this person what's this energy in regards to how gemini will move on yeah the only way they're saying is for you to pack up your crap and go um move on to a better place you have to turn your back on them there isn't any choice you have to gather up your belongings and the things that you have you need to go in a period of separation from this person so that you can re-energize, so that you can regroup, so that you can, you know, you know that saying about if you don't take care of yourself, who's going to? How do you take care of other people if you can't take care of yourself? This situation is very draining. You haven't been taking care of yourself. So you have to distance yourself from this person. Star card in reverse. That's the card of Aquarius. Um, and, and this person may, and they might be an Aquarius actually, they might get depressed, they might get sad. Um, you know, they, they might, I'm getting energy from this person because they're gonna, once they see that you want to separate yourself from them, you wanna move on, they're gonna, they, they may tell you, and, and they might be just saying it or it might actually be true, that they don't think they, they can get through this, that they feel like everything is against them the whole world's against them and they possibly can't overcome this and i feel like this is what they're going to kind of tell you to pull on your heartstrings um to get you to come back um to get you to keep on doing the pattern that you have done but i, I think you know you're going to end up moving on because like i said you'll get to the end of it you just you you just are going to be spent you don't have anything left in you that's going to allow you to move forward with this person so it it's not even um for some of you it will be a choice for other of you it will be a choice you have to make for your actual health um and and they might be whining oh what am i going to do why are you leaving me um 
they might even I'm gonna tell you right now some of them and I don't I don't like to go there but some people might actually say if you leave me I'm gonna kill myself I'm gonna end my life and if they do say that you can't necessarily make that your problem in fact if somebody says something like that well my suggestion would be just to pick up the phone and call the authorities and say that someone has made a threat of suicide to you and then let them kind of take care of that um, so that you kind of don't get involved with that um, but that, that that's for a small percentage of you I just wanted to throw that out there Alrighty, sorry for the skip at the end. Um, if this resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email. We can go ahead and work that out. Click on the link below for your month's extra extra, which is um, what new journey awaits you in there. I will have how will you embark on this journey, what will you encounter, and what will your final destination be. Um, other than that, check out my 2020 Sun Moon predictions in my playlist. Uh, ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook and Insta. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, adios. Bye.